Hey, good evening. I'm meteorologist Bill Ray. Thanks for joining us on the web here for your forecast on this Sunday evening. Boy, it was warm. It was sunny today. It's still 86 degrees as we approach the 7 o'clock hour in the evening. 80 in Smithfield, 80 in Goldsboro, and 85 in Fayetteville as we get ready for a beautiful sunset and a pleasant evening. The high today made it to 90 on this last full day of summer. 88 degrees in Fayetteville uh, for a high today. We had some 70s at Boone and then even some mid 80s along the coast. So just quite unseasonably warm. Our normal high this time of year is just 81. Saw a couple clouds out to our west uh, kind of dying out and we're going to see mainly clear skies tonight. So we're real quiet, but the active uh, tropics continue to be active. Tracking tropical storm Jerry, still 65 mile per hour winds. You see it here uh, well away from any landmass. The only thing to concern would be Bermuda. And as we follow the official forecast path of it, uh, you can see that it now looks like it's going to stay away from the Bermuda Islands. I mean, uh, it does not have it in the path. They'll see some influence, but hopefully they'll avoid a direct strike from Jerry as the storm will then get curved out and stay out over the ocean. So that's some good news. But there's a new tropical storm named Karen and it formed today 40 mile per hour winds and you can see the islands here there's St. Lucia there's it's right down in this area it doesn't look very well organized on the enhanced satellite picture but it's right there and guess what it's heading toward the north and there are tropical storm watches up for the Virgin Islands and San Juan is expected to stay about 40 45 mile per hour winds then we got to watch it uh, by the end of the week I mean this is five days away if a ridge of high pressure builds in to protect from Bermuda it could try to send it back toward the Bahamas or the United States. Uh, let's hope that ridge doesn't build in because we'd like that just to follow in Jerry's footsteps and stay out in the middle of the ocean after it does pass Puerto Rico. So you see Jerry, you see Karen, and there's one other area. This could be Lorenzo. It looks like it will be likely coming off the coast of Africa, so we'll keep an eye on that also. But back for your week ahead for us. I wish we could get some rain in here, but right now I've got the seven day pretty much dry. I mean, dry all week. Not pretty much, it is. Well, Monday night, there's going to be a dry cold front, but that's going to dip our temperature. You know, you saw it was 90 today. It'll be our high tomorrow, but we'll be back in the mid 80s Tuesday and Wednesday before we go back into the 90s again on Thursday and stay close to 90 degrees right into the weekend. So the rays of sunshine for your Monday will be a nine and that is fine. Sunny skies, 60s when you get out to work or school, 70s mid morning, low 80s at lunch, and then your upper 80s to near 90 for a high tomorrow afternoon. As a matter of fact, 89 in Fayetteville and Fort Bragg for a high, 90 Sanford and Lillington and Dunn, about 80. 88 in Goldsboro, 88 in Clinton, 89 in Wilson, 89 in Smithfield, and about 89 in Durham, but 90 in Raleigh and Cary, 90 South Hill, Virginia, and 89 in Roxboro. So high pressure close by, clear skies tonight, get a southwesterly component of the wind tomorrow. That'll get us up to about 90, as we mentioned. And here comes that front, some clouds with it, a little bit of rain to behind it, but when the front comes through us, just some partly cloudy skies Monday night, and then Tuesday is going to turn mostly sunny as this high takes over and drops us into the mid 80s and then we'll be sunny with uh, mid 80s again on Wednesday before we start to get on the backside of that high and heat things up for Thursday. So here is your forecast for the week ahead. Clear 64 tonight. First day of fall tomorrow, you wouldn't know it. 90, 66 and partly cloudy tomorrow night. 86 and mostly sunny on Tuesday. Sunny on Wednesday, 86 degrees. We'll see 91 hot. Thursday. That's the hottest day, but close to it. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will be partly cloudy next weekend uh, for the last uh, few days of September, and it'll still feel like it's in summer, even though fall does start tomorrow. So thanks for checking out the forecast online. We'll be back on TV tonight after primetime. See you then, and have yourself a great night, everybody.